This is how people are getting minutes on top of you in a challenge rift. If you've always wondered, it's like, how is this guy who has fairly similar gear to me doing the rift in like half the time? This is how. This tip today comes from two people. Veldshot was the first buddy to show this to me, so I want to send a shout out to him. He has a YouTube channel, go subscribe to him. However, in-game Akimbo, or Ajimbo is actually his name, is the person who let me know about this as well. And I want to do a shout out to him, this guy right here, Ajimbo, for he's the one who told Veldshot, who told me at first, and I just want to give credit to all the people who are credit to you. So credit out of the way, I want to show you kind of a cool trick you can use. Let's say you're doing a challenge rift that is fairly difficult, okay? Let's say you're having problems beating, I don't know, 60, 70, whatever, whatever challenge rift it is that you're at, and every second matters at this point. So what you can do is you can join a challenge rift, you can skip past the mobs in the beginning, you see how there's mobs here in the beginning, and then what you can do is run all the way over here, okay? You can run past them, and now, at this point, we can start killing them. Well, why would we do this? Because we're purposely meet, leaving mobs over by the entrance, and I'm gonna show the entrance, and now I'm gonna show you why. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, we're gonna clear the rest of this challenge rift. So with the power of computer magic, once this challenge rift is just about over, I'll be right back. One other tip, when you find a shrine during this, leave minions next to the shrine as well, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna run past here, you're gonna kill all these minions, okay? And you're gonna get the progress to where it's just about completed, then you're gonna go back to the shrine, grab the shrine, and then die on purpose. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second here. Okay, so now it's almost over. What I'm gonna do, since it's almost over, is I'm just gonna go ahead and die here. I'm gonna let the mobs kill me, and then once I am dead, I'm going to choose respawn back at, uh, not at uh, the corpse, but I'm gonna choose to spawn back at the beginning of the map. Now, it might seem weird. It's like, why am I doing this? Isn't this kind of a weird, useless thing to do? Well, actually, it's extremely useful, because watch, if I revive at the checkpoint, I come back here, and then I kill these mobs, and I could have grabbed the, the shrine and then just die by the shrine, too, is one way to do it, so I want to show you that. But look, now that we're at the spawn, the, the boss spawns next to the actual door. So what happens is, while I'm fighting the boss, and let's say it's on a difficulty that's super, super difficult, I can sit here, and once I die, I can just respawn at the door and I don't have to wait at all for the time. Because normally what would happen is you're gonna have to wait like 25 seconds or whatever for your corpse to be able to be available and you can't run that far back down it anyway, right? But now what happens is look, it takes five seconds, but if I revive here, I can revive instantly and it doesn't take the five seconds. So it gives me way more time to be able to clear the rift. This is how people are getting minutes on top of you in a challenge rift. If you've always wondered, it's like, how is this guy who has fairly similar gear to me doing the rift in like half the time? This is how, basically, okay? This is how. So I wanted to get this tip out there. Shout out to Veldshot, told me first, link to his YouTube channel and down below. And huge shout out to Ajimbo as well for I believe being the original source of the information too. Appreciate that. And then there you go, just like that, you got your challenge rift done and you can continue pushing to the higher and higher challenge rifts. This allows you to basically just go through, ignore elites, just kill the trash mobs, then die purposely, kill the couple minions right in the beginning, and then just like that, you're gonna be saving yourself all of the revive time. You basically can revive instantly, non-stop, and have infinite lives with no penalty at all in a challenge rift. It's absolutely busted. With that being said, love y'all. Consider subscribing. About 75% of the people who watch my videos every day uh, are not subscribed. So if you're one of the people that watch my videos every day, please consider subscribing. We broke like 39 and a half thousand subs. I'm trying to break 40K. That'd be awesome. Love y'all. See you in the next one.